Good day, good day. How the honk are y'all? Welcome to Roverland. Guess what I got today? <laughs> yeah, it's an unboxing Saturday. <laughs> All right. Well, I already uh, clipped out the address and filed that. Uh, yeah, welcome to Roverland. We're going to do an unboxing, of course, on Saturdays, like just fun and playing around and just looking at what uh, foolishness I do. Um, anyway, so Aiken is a uh, die-cast uh, member of a couple of clubs here in Wisconsin, the Appleton Die-cast Club, and then there's the one in uh, the Milwaukee area die-cast club. But anyway, uh, the story is... I found a couple of these, and if you don't know, this Bugatti Citron has been a hot topic, and people are wanting them uh, bad. Well, you know what? I find them, I buy them for a dollar, and then I go and I turn around and I use it for trade bait. So the story is, I went and I posted, hey, I'll trade you one of these for some of these because these are a Kruger uh, exclusive and and uh, pick uh, pick and save their grocery store chains here in the United States Wisconsin and uh, they were kind of an exclusive now we've already had the silver ones and so anyway so the story was that uh, I posted that and uh, uh, Aiken he's like hey dude I'll send you I don't need any of these. I'm going to send you some. So I'm like, really? You got some? And he's like, yeah, I'll pick you up some. And uh, I'm going to just uh, open up while I'm talking to you. And he said, I'll, I'll pick you up some and send them to you. He messaged me on Facebook. And I'm like, oh, cool. All right. Well, uh, what do I owe you? And he's like, oh, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh. We'll uh, we'll take care of take care of that. Actually, uh, you just uh, pay it forward. I believe is what he said. And so, excellent packing job there. Awesome. And so, wow, here it is. I didn't. He said I got some. He didn't say how many. And he said I'll I'll send them to you. And uh, you don't worry about it. He says he knows. Uh, we we've been. Uh, acquaintances, friends for a while, we've known each other for a while, he uh, goes to the diecast clubs, uh, meets, and uh, sells his his findings and his wares, and so, yeah, so, I'm like, every time we, we ever met up, I'm like, you got any rovers? He's like, no, Dan, I ain't got any rovers for you, <laughs> so, excellent, excellent packings, well, this guy, uh, Aiken, he's been, uh, he's, he's uh, quite a collector, and uh, actually, he's got uh, some very, a very nice car um, that he drives around, uh, uh, JDM. I'm not sure exactly. I, I believe it's a Honda, I believe. But anyway, excellent guy. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Check this out. Ba-bam! Whoa! Look at that. Six of them. Woo! Feast your eyes on that. Feast your eyes on that. That is great. Glorious. Thank you very much. This is like Christmas. Woo! Nice. Good start to the old uh, white version collection. Yeah. All right. Do you see it? We're going to have to look at one here special. And, uh, well, there's a couple of things going on. What is going on here with this one? Let's zoom in here. Come on, let's zoom in. Let's, let's try to zoom in, huh? What in the world is going on there? That is on the car. I think somebody wiped their boogers on it at the... <laughs> I'm not really sure what that is, but there's something on that car. Yeah, it's not on the plastic. You can see it's on it's on the car. Neat. 
Well, that's cool. I wonder if he uh, noticed that uh, that was on there. I don't know, but uh, that is pretty neat. Well, we're going to set that aside. That's going in the collection. But, uh, well, there you go. Thank you very much. That is awesome. So, you know what that means? We got a few, so we can open one. How's that, huh? Let's, uh... Let's get situated here. We're going to open one and take a look at it closely. I've got the silver one right here. So we can go ahead and uh, compare the two. Well, let me uh, quickly and gingerly. This is kind of the way I open mine. Well, I, I like to use the acetone on the glue too. But these here, you know, uh, for Hot Wheels like this, I'm hoping to get quite a few and and be able to hoard them so uh, I'll just cut them like that because I'll display it like this so you ready oh come to daddy <laughs> oh yeah there she is take a quick sniff oh yeah nothing like <laughs> nothing like opening up a brand new Hot Wheels Oh, and look, you can see this one is a little bit less tint on the roof, so you can see the interior. The silver one uh, was uh, was a little bit darker. Talking about sniffing, if you guys ever uh, go over to that crazy Canadian up there in Canada, W, what is it, WFFOR? He was doing that the other day. <laughs> he was saying, he's like, yeah, smell that. Nothing like. Wow, I gotta take this out. Hold on a second. We'll reach up here, and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. See how dark that first one, the silver. This is the silver one, and uh, see how dark that was. Now see how it, it's wow, quite a bit of difference there, and that's cool. I like that. I don't know. Now did I? Did I open up a rare one, or are they all kind of... No, they seem like they're all kind of like that, don't they? This version is uh, a little bit... Yeah, a little bit less... Uh, le I, don't, I don't know what you call that. What would you call that? Just uh, more transparent plastic, I guess, is what you would have on there. But we already, you know, we uh, we took the silver one. Actually, this is the one we I took apart and took a look at. Maybe we'll do that again. But, uh, yeah, just very nice. We're going to talk about this model again. And it's, uh, it's just a white enamel. There is no sparkle to it at all. I'll, I'll kind of try to prove it to you here. Sometimes it kind of gets lost. See how that's sparkly? You can really see the sparkle there in that, that silver paint job. And this is just a, a nice enamel white. I, I don't know if I wouldn't really call it pearl. But uh, same wheels. Same wheels. But this here is all uh, deco. Down here, this uh, black pinstripe or uh, rocker panel. That's all pinstripe. You couldn't... You, on the on the gray one, you almost thought it was the base. There's still uh, the same black base. I thought this one, new one, was going to be like a gray, but it's still a black base. Same grill. It seems like the silver, the grill showed up a little bit more. The, the silver and the grill shows up a little bit more. But yeah, just a beautiful model. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that that is that right there, even on that front quarter panel down there is is deco. Yeah. Yeah. They got a little uh you can see the side deco to the to the front the, the nose deco. That's one pass there. And then you can see the side deco there. And this one here, it doesn't quite match up as much. At least this one almost overlays, but you can kind of see the two different passes. Yeah, that one's got the same kind of uh, gap there, but I mean, for a dollar toy, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, hey, you know, there's 
I mean, if you wanted, I suppose you'd take a little Sharpie and just black that out a little bit. I was talking about the, uh, did anybody look up? Those uh, door handles are flush mounted and, and then they open to, to open the car. They present themselves to you. I'm not really sure if they do that automatically when, you know, like the key flob or whatever, or if you have to push the button. I, I, I saw it at uh, one video on uh, Land Rover's official website, uh, but I don't, I don't remember a lot. I, I get hit on the head a lot. I, I don't retain a lot of <laughs> information, but it is just great that this, this side deco is very classy and very sharp deco just awesome yeah i don't think that really is supposed to say anything or anything like that whoa we went away and came back there giving the old uh camera phone here the a workout but that is nice yeah but that velar is just you know can you believe that they got velar on there very interesting, very nice. And now the, the high-end Range Rover models, they go with the black Land Rover badge. See now this, see, see this side here, the uh, deco doesn't match so well where this runs over. I don't know which is better, to have a gap or to have it run over. But this obviously, this is kind of like more on place because you see the bottom, the bottom part kind of matches up and this one's kind of moved over a little bit more. But they must pump these out, you know, a million cars a minute, you know, so to get those to go by. And then they're doing it unassembled, I assume. You know, the body, just the body piece is going through the factory. It's not like the whole car, you know. But, uh, wow, I did not know that that top was uh, going to be more transparent. That's neat. And it doesn't take away, the, you know, the, the frame and the pillar, you know, that's not very realistic that you can see through it. But it's enough um, opaquity <laughs> to uh, not take away from the model, you know. And even the, even the pillar back here, you know. It's, you know, you're supposed to be looking at the interior, not at a, you know, pillar on a toy like this. But like I say, well, these are a little bit more. I think these were $1.50 because they're at the grocery store. You know, at Walmart, they run under a dollar, you know, 94 cents, 99 cents. But the grocery stores, they can, they can ask for another 50 cents, which is still under two bucks for this kind of uh, quality, I say, you know, uh, it's amazing what they can do today in the in the toy industry. Um, I think the only upgrade for this would be rubber wheels, you know. And I I am going to predict right now. What is it? I don't even know what the date is, but the time of this filming, I predict that uh, eventually this Range Rover will come out in a, some kind of a uh, line, premium line for. Uh, Hot Wheels and and have uh, rubber wheels on it. Hey, you know what? Just for fun, we got a little bit of time. Let's take this one apart again. And uh, if you missed it before, you can uh, check out. I don't know if I can tag uh, the video, but at the end, you can go ahead and look at it. Uh, this we're going to take this thing apart again. And I I just barely tapped out. Now remember, folks, that back one is the plastic pit. Uh, pillar so don't go too hard at drilling that out if you drill that out okay uh, I hate you you faint to heart <laughs> watch out okay so what we had was there and there now you can see the unadulterated full whatever uh, look at the cabin the only complaint I really had was the the steering wheel was kind of wanting you know that's kind of a but uh, and that huge shifter i think don't these uh, range rovers have the button that you know pops up and presents itself they always like to say that presents itself and you you turn it i i think that's what i don't think they have stick shifts anymore 
you know, I don't know. But uh, there you go. Um, I'm getting quite a few of these silver ones, so I may uh, uh, do some wheel swapping and stuff like that, send you some pictures or do something about that. Um, but here's, here's that uh, canopy. You know, when you take it out and look at it like this, you know, you can see that it's pretty, you know, see-through or whatnot, you know, uh, transparent. But uh, I'm going to tell you, this one is really transparent, you know, which I am totally, like I say, I'm totally happy with that. That is great. That is great. Let's just take a quick look at the body again. And, uh, yeah, let's get a little focus. How's that? But very, very nice. Very, very nice. Another look at the uh, in the innards of a Range Rover Velar. Yeah. And this one here that's got that tab on the nose. Got to tuck that in there. Comes like that. Go ahead and put the uh, interior on there. And then we can just slap that base back on there. And this one I, I think I've pretty much left enough on the rivets there so it kind of holds so pretty pretty nice so there you go big shout out and thank you to uh aiken mr roberts thank you very much and yes we will be uh cherishing and uh sharing the wealth <laughs> that's for sure thank you very much again all right there guys we're gonna call it a day for an unboxing saturday Thank you for joining me. Remember, like, subscribe, and comment down below. My links to Facebook are in the description and Instagram. You can follow me there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, my friends. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover Day!